point is look at a few other questions that you have. There is one important logistics question. I think I'll take it from uh, take it right now. Can we share a PC with two participants during session four on day one? The answer is yes. You can share it. I would say if you have one PC for every two participants, that's good enough. Anything less than that might be a little problematic. So please try hard to arrange one PC for at least every two participants. If you can get one per participants, that's also okay. But one for every two is a good idea because the number of exercises will be group exercises. So you can just count and uh, arrange one PC for every two participants. That's a good ratio to have. If the participants get their own laptops, it will save the burden on you also. A um, few more questions. There seem to be a number of requests for sessions on how to do presentations and posters. So I think we will include it on day two. There have been requests to share this slide with the workshop coordinators. Of course, we are going to do it as soon as this is over. And let me. Uh, okay, one last question from the chats. What time will the actual conference start? 9.30? We start at 9. 9. We are going to start it at 9 a.m. 9 to 5.30 will be the time of the actual conference. Let us look at some questions. Uh, some of you have raised your hands and let us go to VIT Pune first. What I would suggest that you start thinking about right now is if you have any doubts about your own role what you are supposed to do, how you are supposed to do it and so on. Because this is the only live interaction you will get. Over to you, VIT Pune. Uh, uh, I want to elaborate the extended abstract which is asked by some conferences generally. Okay, thank you Pune. The question is what to do when some conferences ask for extended abstracts. What I will do here is uh, try to include this in uh, the, se the session on day 2 where we said organizing and planning your paper part 2. We will try to address this, but we will take it up after we have done main abstracts and the main paper. But thanks for your suggestion. We will try to address this at some point. Again, if you have any doubts about the workshop schedule and what you are supposed to do, please ask your question right now. We will respond to as many as possible now and we will answer the rest uh, on Moodle. PVG COET Pune. Madam, within a short uh, period of time, I have gone through the paper. Shall I give my response to the uh, What I would suggest is you post the response as an assignment res uh, on Moodle. There is a way you can type your responses and just post it on Moodle. So at this point, if you post it there, it will be a better idea. So thanks for your, uh, I am glad you were able to go through it, but it would be a good idea at this point if all of you can revisit the assignment and post your answers on Moodle since we have already finished the discussion. Thank you. I would like to request all of you to focus your questions now on your role in the workshop. If you have comments about the paper that we read or what uh, makes a good conference paper, Please post it as a response to the assignment on Moodle. So the focus of these questions now will be the sessions of the workshop and your role in those sessions. Ja College, over to you. The first one will be, Madam, I have got two queries. The first one is, if we can have a first hand idea of the exercises that are to be done on the computer or laptop. So that we do it ourselves, all myself and my PAs, we do it ourselves and then we are pretty much ready to face the questions from the our participants, that is the first thing. And uh, the second thing is, initially Dr. Mukta Atri had circulated in the notice that uh, the participants would have to submit a paper before the workshop, then after the workshop they would have to do the corrections and resubmit it and once they do it only they would get certification. But that is not being followed now. We are not asking our participants to submit a paper. While doing that registration, it's not mandatory. So can you please uh, throw some light on this? Uh, the response was so overwhelming that, that we decided that uh, the participants, I mean, it is not mandatory for them to submit the, part, uh, the paper at the time of registration. But when they come for uh, the uh, workshop, they will have to bring a uh, paper with them. 
something that they have written and that you will have to uh, uh, look at okay i will be writing to all the uh, uh, selected participants anyway so that is that will be the norm that we will be following it would be very good if participants could upload the paper a few days before the conference so that you would have time to go over them and you can summarize them for us so we will be all prepared for the workshop so in order to make this happen logistically what we could do is we what we will do is send them emails to submit it and we will ask them to submit it no later than um, say 3 days or so before the workshop or 5 days before the workshop that will give you ample time to go over the papers and also will give us some time to go over your comments so we will send them emails and i would also suggest you to keep encouraging your participants from your own rc to submit these papers so that they come prepared for the workshop what would not be very good is if they come to the workshop without having thought of a paper or if they come with the paper on the morning of the workshop we won't be able to do anything with it so we'll put the deadline a few days before the conference instead of right now and the the other point you had made that's a very good suggestion that we should post the exercises beforehand so that all the workshop coordinators know what these workshops are so what i would try from our side is to post the slides as well as the exercises beforehand now exactly how much beforehand i won't be able to tell you right now but i would say most of the slides and the exercises we will post them again two or three days before the conference if we get if they are ready earlier we'll do it beforehand uh, so that only the workshop coordinators can access them and you can become familiar with them so that's an excellent suggestion thank you for that over to you uh, madam another request to mr atle madam we can have i mean right now we have just a uh, we have over 800 participants registered 900 if we can have like earlier workshops uh, page on which center wise participants can be separated if i click mufakhamja i should get all participants of mufakhamja and uh, their email addresses and phone numbers which would be a great help do you mean uh, moodle participants have to be organized according to center you are suggesting to do this on moodle is that correct over to you no madam i am talking about the registrations that are being done right now i have 48 registrations on my college right now you can take a look at uh, the number of people registered in your rc uh, i am afraid uh, there is no direct way to do this but if you go to a to an enrollment form and uh, there is a link uh, to uh, the availability of seats in each remote center if you click on that availability link you will know exactly how many people have registered at your college it's a slightly roundabout way but i'm trying to work out uh, an easier uh, way to look at the number of uh, registrations at your place and i will also tell uh, our team to uh, send the number every 2 days or 3 days by the way we have already crossed uh, the number of 1000 uh, uh, already so no uh, i think it's a very uh, good going sastra university over to you first thing i want to say is uh, whenever we are discussing about the plagiarism software uh, it is better to concentrate on a free software so that uh, uh, everybody can use that software if it is a proprietary software means we can see the demo but uh, utilization is li little bit difficult okay thanks we'll take your suggestion for the previous workshops and other things it is possible to classify according to the remote centers there is a list box available according to that uh, we, we can find out how many participants are there in our uh, remote center uh, but uh, here uh, when i see this that list box is missing uh, i don't know whether it will be included later or not um, next thing is uh, you, you send emails to the participants stating that you have to upload your papers uh, before 5 days we'll also follow it okay uh, then so that we can have a very good performance uh yes definitely uh, i will uh, next week onwards i will start sending uh, the names and the contact details of all the participants to all the remote centers so that you can uh, follow this up and i will also be sending an email to all the participants who have uh, enrolled so far about the uh, mandatory uh, uh, requisition requirement of uh, the paper Okay over
KJ Somaya, over to you. Madam, I would like to know if any softwares are required on the machines. The second thing is uh, the number of the participants, uh, like, uh, approved participants, we should come to know in advance because the last date for the enrollment is 13th. So after that, very less time is there. If we know the approved uh, like participants, then we can ask them for their papers. And my request is to equip the workshop coordinate, coordinators with the sufficient assignments so that uh, uh, like effective pre, uh, like, uh, like conduction of the workshop will be there by the workshop coordinators in advance and sufficient exercises for the workshop co coordinators. Out and over. Okay, thanks. I will address two of your queries quickly and then I will hand it over to Dr. Mukta. Software, nothing specific other than word processing. Okay, so more, uh, either open office or any other version of office. I do not think we need any specific software. As I said earlier, internet would be a good idea to have during that session because for certain uh, exercises internet might be required. Your final suggestion about sufficient exercises provided beforehand, we will take that into consideration and do the best that we can. Regarding the number of approved participants, we are going through the list almost every single day and uh, we will uh, I think every two or three days we will be passing on the numbers to you. So by 13th, at the most 14th morning, I think we should have a fairly comprehensive list of all the approved participants. I do not uh, want to extend it beyond uh, 14th evening really because I know you would have a, a very short time to uh, make uh, the arrangements over and out. NIT Bhopal, over to you. Madam, I have a question that uh, you said that in the conference uh, or in workshop, uh, you will be discussing in some domains uh, like that you mentioned that CAC domain and one is education and uh, technology for education. Likewise, you told some specific domains you will be discussing writing papers. So, and you also asked that uh, the workshop coordinator should uh, identify the domains in which the uh, candidates are interested. So, if it is, uh, uh, it will be good if we ask the participant to specify the domain, then it will be easier for the workshop coordinator to identify the domain actually. Okay, we will try to solve this problem in some way. As I said, it is not very crucial that we do it because we would not be able to address all domains and there are a lot of common themes within the domains. So, at this point what I would suggest or what I would, uh, the way we are thinking of it is to split those sessions into two parts, one related to papers that are primarily from the engineering domain and I am calling engineering as one block even though I know there is a lot of differences and one related to the teaching and learning strategies. As time goes on, if we are able to get more information either from the participants or if we are able to get more experts from our side, we will try to expand it. So, we will see how to address this issue and uh, maybe for the next five day workshop, we will try to do it domain wise. But if it is not possible, it, it was a suggestion from my side, I know I did not uh, pass it along to the entire team earlier, but let us uh, see how we can handle this. Thank you, over and out. Kolapur Institute of Technology, over. Hello. Thank you, over and out. Hello madam. My query is related to day two session three. Now role of coordinator is mostly presentation. Please let me know uh, details about that. Yes, you are asking details. Please elaborate that, mostly presentation means what, what you are exactly expecting from the coordinator. Okay, the question is if the session said mostly presentation, what is the role of the workshop coordinator? Uh, in fact, places where it says mostly presentation, there is not much to do for the workshop coordinator. It means that we will be taking a large part of the role for that part of the session. On the other hand, since we, have, we will already send you the slides, we will elaborate that later, uh, we will el elaborate that in our notes. But what I would request all of you to do is go through the slides so that even when the presentation is going on from our side, you know what is coming next. And if you, if there are queries from your local participants, you may be in a better position to answer them. So, places where it says mostly presentation, you do not have an active role, but you can answer local queries and be the facilitator. 
I hope that answers your question. Over and out. MES Pillay, over to you. I have two questions, madam. One is that uh, when the presentation is going on, can the participants ask the questions to the IIT team? And second question is that when we have, we have a practical session, will be in the lab and the lectures will be held in the lecture hall. So when we are in the lab, we will we be able to connect to IIT. So will we have a connectivity in, to IIT when we are working in the lab for the practicals? Okay, let me answer your first question that uh, can participants ask questions during the morning sessions? Uh, in principle, yes. What I would suggest for a smooth flow is if they ask questions through the chat. It is fairly easy for from our side to look at the chat queries in between and answer them and that will also be useful for all the other participants. On the, you can raise your hand if you think it is a very important question, but if it is a clarification question uh, and if you want to make sure that your question is addressed, I would say that you please type it in within the chat and you will have higher chances of your question being answered there. Regarding whether uh, there will be connectivity during the lab, let me, so uh, the la in the lab session or in the afternoon session, what will happen is that participants will work on PCs, but we would like connectivity even at that point. It, it, it is a bit difficult to arrange all the PCs in the seminar hall. Yeah, Professor Joshi, I suggest that uh, when you, when the practical session is going on, you have at least uh, one PC in the lab connected to AVU. Uh, so, so the AVU team will uh, give you instructions about how to do that, but at least one PC in the computer lab should be connected to IIT. Is that clear? Yeah, that can be that can be done, madam. Okay, because uh, as uh, Professor Sahanamurti says, uh, there will be a lot of interaction during the uh, practical session also. So one at least one PC will be uh, absolutely necessary. PC with uh, connection to IIT Bombay. The way I see that session happening is. Uh, if this one PC is connected to IIT Bombay, the workshop coordinator can take questions from the individual participants and you can post those questions on the chat via AVU. The laptops or PCs that the participants will be working on, you can treat them as local machines to mainly do the word processing and do the uh, exercises. If that is the situation, you have to make sure that these exercises are downloaded on those PCs beforehand. So we will post all the materials on Moodle a few days ahead of time and you can make sure that the participants have access to them either on the lab PCs or on their local laptops before the practical session. I hope this is a, this will be workable. Over to you. Yeah, that, that can be done madam. Thank you madam. Thank yeah. you. Over and out. This is for the benefit of uh, all the uh, coordinators. There is no need for a projector in the lab in the computer lab only one uh, computer with a view connection to iit bombay is uh, sufficient there is no need for a projector kakinada institute over to you i have a small doubt and just i just want to ask uh, to dr mukta madam uh, mukta ma'am good afternoon i just want to ask one common question at the time of uh, registration through online the uh, actual particular field is not there to submit the permission letter. So at what stage they have to submit the permission letter and uh, whatever may be the reason the remote center coordinator and the workshop coordinator will cross check at the time of the participant reporting for the main workshop. Over, over and over. The participants have already started sending us permission letters through email. We have not provided a link but people have started sending us through email. They are expected to send a scanned copy of the permission letter to us by email. And uh, it is also the duty of the remote center or workshop coordinator to cross check uh, with each and every participant. Uh, they will bring the uh, uh, original uh, letter for you to uh, cross check over and out. Thank you 
you Kakinada? There seems to be a question from SGS ITS Indore, over to you. Yeah ma'am, uh, yeah I just want to know, uh, I have actually tried to contact many institutes in and around Indore uh, yes. through telephone as well, I have sent emails to many people. Uh, I just want to know how many internal participants uh, would you allow? Yes, I have been uh, uh, receiving uh, many questions about this. Uh, Professor Fatak had said uh, that uh, you should maintain a decent balance. Now, uh, he did not specify exactly what that decent balance would be, but uh, uh, we have so far uh, had a, um, a ratio of 10% against 90% uh, in the earlier work workshops. I suggest uh, we can go up to 25% for this. But please do make sure that the priority is uh, the outsiders who would otherwise not get a chance to attend a workshop like this. Over and out. KJ Somaya, please go ahead. This is a question to Professor Mukta. Ma'am, uh, we are planning for the morning sessions in the seminar hall, which has got a capacity of 80. And the practical sessions will be in the lab, which has got a capacity of 20 PCs. So if you allow two people, one PC, so at the maximum we can have 30 to 40. So can we get uh, additional AVU user ID to increase the capacity? Um, yes, uh, I think that is possible. Over and out. Just send me an email with a, co co with a CC to Sajjan and Sushant and we should be able to manage. Over and out. Over to you. Good afternoon, madam. Doneshwaran here. Uh, we have uh, some sort of questions. <coughs> First thing is, uh, as I mentioned, mentioned the, I mean, sent the mail also. We have uh, more number of applicants here uh, because though we can accommodate only 80, I raised the question to send the mail to uh, Mutra map seeking another user ID and the password. Uh, what is in the state? Shall I proceed or uh, another user ID and the password? Or to you, ma'am. And another question is, uh, if more than candidates, how to select? If you give the list of participants, shall we select or you will balance? And uh, another one is, uh, the list of participants, though you are answered in the other, uh, I mean, uh, remote centers, for the same question, let me repeat it again. The list of part, most of the participants, they send the bonafide certificate. I mean, uh, usually the other workshops, they will uh, upload during the enrollment itself. But this time we are asking to bring it at the time of uh, registration. Suppose they not turned up uh, at the registrations. Earlier one query is, we can sit it the students separate and the, this separate. The certificate also, they will be given by the IIT Bombay, but this is a bona fide I mean, participants, other cases. So please clarify in this all these issues, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I had sent an answer to the uh, mail about uh, the separate, uh, uh, an additional AVU uh, ID. Uh, I just uh, want, I, I think I had said in that, that we'll wait till the registration is over, because we also have two other colleges in the same area, and that is Rajalakshmi uh, College, and uh, we have SRM uh, at Kanchipuram, which are again very close to Chennai. We uh, it is not fair if just Anna University has uh, a lot of participants and Rajalakshmi and SRM do not uh, even, you know, their capacity is not full. So we will wait till the uh, mm, uh, enrollment is over and then I will take the decision of whether to uh, give you another AVU uh, uh, connection or not. I think I had said this in my uh, email earlier. And uh, the other thing about uh, the uh, participants, the approved participants, we will send you a list. As I said earlier, we will send it to you at the most by 14th evening. And uh, this will, uh, people have already se started sending us bona fide certificates by email. We have not provided a link uh, this time for uploading because it has created a lot of problem on our server. So people are sending it to us by email. And we will provide you the list of uh, approved participants by 14th evening. Over and out. PSD Coimbatore, over to you. Yes, madam. Uh, now, we are checked thoroughly with our system. 
we got into the good position regarding the presentation and the assignment also just to be got it uh, most probably we will have to go through and uh, according to we have to respond this is uh, a reply to uh, professor shiv kumar you will have to do something about the audio at your uh, remote center it is not clear at all yeah please please come for the testing this problem is recurrent your center does not turn up for testing and then during the actual workshop we have this problem so please come for testing over and out sastra university over to you is there any restriction for the branches there is no restriction right now however we cannot promise that we will address each branch individually most of the things that we talk about will be common for all branches some of our examples might be chosen from certain branches but there is no restriction as such as to who should be in and who should not be in over and out kg somaya over to you in the morning many of us have given the suggestions or the opinions ab about the uploaded paper can we have you were comment so that we we'll come to know whether we are we were right or wrong thanks okay that's an interesting question uh, there is no right or wrong answer here as most of you would have known what i did during the presentation was really summarize or take all your points and try to fit them in so what i can do is uh, the presentation itself will be posted but in addition if you want i can post a response to the question and i will what i'll try to do there is to take the threads that each of you the themes that each of you have mentioned and connect them so that's something i can do but there is uh, none of you gave a wrong answer there is no such thing but what i want to mention is many of you missed the points about selling the problem and defending the solution and so on i found that there was a large emphasis on the formatting and the spacing and the fact that the table caption was not visible while that's important that is not the most important thing so when you're writing a paper you have to pay attention to those but you have to definitely make sure that the logical flow is correct and your solution is actually addressing the problem and the problem is interesting and so on thank you for your question what i'd suggest at this time is if you have questions about the 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 content of the workshop the role of the rc and all please do ask your question right now if you have a question on the other hand about how many participants you can admit or how to do a view and all you can always send an email to the e outreach team most of these answers have been repeated a few times because somebody else has asked them and we don't mind answering you individually via email but if you ask them right now it's going to distract from the main theme of this meeting so those of you who have raised your hands i hope your questions are about the content of the workshop and the flow of the workshop or a suggestion as to some new topic that you want in the workshop so let's say we take questions till 115 okay thank you for those of you who retracted your questions we have two more questions let's take those two vit velour over to you uh, some of the nearby colleges faculty have registered uh, under anna university which is far away from uh, our place can uh, can i talk to the faculty members who have already registered to other centers or uh, is it possible to transfer to vit this is just a request uh i want emails from those participants who have registered at anna university and want to shift to vit i have no problems in shifting them but i would like emails from those participants themselves over and out one one more one more question madam whether the participant has to submit uh, the copy uh, to the remote center or they can scan and upload the copy which one is uh, which It one i have to follow it is both he he has to scan the uh, copy of the permission letter and send it to us by email and bring the original with the with him when he comes for the uh, workshop and you have to check it over and out thanks to all of you for uh, participating in a very active and 
interesting round of discussion today morning i hope we were able to clear most of your doubts as we have mentioned several times do send us email if you have other questions from our side we will be posting a few materials on moodle so if you want to contact us regarding the content of the workshop the moodle forum would be a good place to start a query because that's where all other participants also can see the questions you have posted and i'll also be checking the moodle chat forums if you have any tech problems regarding audio video and technical aspects please contact sushant and the, uh, the appropriate people and uh, any other suggestions that you would like to make as to what you would like to see in the workshop again please post it on moodle so let me thank all of you once again for being here today morning and hope see you all in about 2 weeks time over and out